Dennis, how much of, uh, did a lack of, of complimentary football ultimately hurt you all today? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty obvious that, you know, the defense played really well today. Um, you know, offensively, we just didn't get it done enough and didn't score enough points. So, um, you know, in that, in that regard, we, we let the team down in that regard. What was happening in the run game that Baltimore was doing so well? Uh, you know, they had a good game plan. Um, you know, I think they they knew what they wanted to do, and I think they, they did a good job of trying to, uh, you know, I guess you could say shorten the edge uh, as much as possible. And so, um, you know, we, we just never really got into that rhythm after those first couple drives. Uh, we kind of, you know, obviously led to the result. Yeah, Dennis, sorry, I just jumped over. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if anybody's asked you this, but the, the fourth and two earlier in the fourth quarter when you guys ended up punting, did you guys as a unit want to go for that? I mean, I think any unit's going to want to go for go for something like that. Um, but, you know, that's, the decision was made to punt. You know, like, uh, you know I heard, uh, I think I heard Rabel or saw Rabel say that our defense has been playing well, and they were, and so we were able to kind of steal some field position off of it. Um, you know, it would have worked out great. So, um, you know, that's just kind of the way it goes. Chris Harris. Dennis, what were uh, Mike's words to you guys after the game? Uh, it's tough because, I mean, I think the biggest thing is, you know, you don't really prepare for, for that speech. Um, you know, it's been a long year with everything going on, everyone involved. And so, there was definitely just um, a lot of disappointment for obvious reasons, but um, you know, just it was, it's, it's a it's a hard time to talk to players and, and coaches who have put everything into it, everything they had, you know, or the X amount of months to the spot, and then just and then be done, kind of just like that. So. You know, Dennis, obviously, you know, this is an emotional game that, that you that you play, but uh, after seeing how the Ravens reacted on that final uh, interception, do you have any thoughts or comments on that? I mean, it's – I guess it's whatever. I don't know what that, that whole – this disrespectful thing came from. We've literally done that since Malarkey's been here, uh, going into the midfield. So, if that's the tool that Harbaugh wanted to use to motivate his team, you know, it, it must have worked. So, um, you know, it's, it is what it is. Sorry. Dennis, uh, it just seemed like the yards were hard to come by in between the tackles, especially today uh, for Derek. What, what were they doing specifically that just seemed to kind of shut him down? Yeah, no, I mean, they, they're a good defense for one. Uh, but like I said, I think they, they did a good job of trying to shorten the edge and try and, and not let Derek kind of gain his momentum. Um, and so we, you know, obviously going into the off season, going into next year, we need to make sure that we do not allow that to happen. Yeah. Dennis, I guess, I guess what's the overall frustration level for the offense? You guys have scored over 30 points in 10 games, 40 points five times, only scored 13 today. And I know that's probably going to linger with you throughout the off season, I imagine. Yeah, and I think I kind of mentioned it earlier, especially with, with getting the performance that we got from the defense. Um, you know, the, as an offense, we, we always go on the field kind of expecting to score. And so for us not to be as effective and as efficient as we want it to be, uh, you know, obviously stinks. Last question, Brad. Dennis, uh, obviously you guys are – you want to win the football game, but given everything that's gone into this season and a year that's been so different, is there any kind of relief at the end of it that just kind of the day-to-day -day processes of everything you have to go through during COVID are, are over now? Uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily say there's, there's relief right now. Um, I understand what you're saying in the overall scheme of things, but, uh, you know, that sense of relief hasn't hit, I guess you'd say.